Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do yet another thrift store haul with you guys. So stay tuned. <music> Okay guys, so I have several things that I have gotten from a couple of different thrift stores uh, that I went to over the weekend. I was looking for some Christmas stuff because I'm about to start some December daily journals. Um, in particular, one for me and then a few to sell on my Etsy shop as well. So I went to the thrift store specifically to find Christmas stuff and I did find Christmas stuff, but I also found a lot of other things, of course. So. I wanted to share a few things with you. We'll go ahead and get these out of the way because I, I didn't pick up too many ribbons, but I did find this one, and this one's obviously a Christmas ribbon. So I probably got that for like 10 cents, or maybe I got both of these for, no, I got that one for a quarter. This one was 49 cents, so okay. Um, and this ribbon was not Christmassy, but uh, it's really pretty, and I mean, you can kind of pull that off for Christmas, I suppose. So the next thing I picked up is obviously a few doilies. I always love doilies. I, a lot of this stuff is, is not Christmas, but that's okay. <laughs> this is uh, just a really pretty hanky that I picked up. And then I also picked up this doily here, which is embroidered and has a cool kind of scalloped edge. So I picked that one up as well, and then I picked up this, I guess this is probably like a dish towel, but I really loved these purple flowers on it. I'm probably going to use these on the cover of a journal or something like that. Okay, so the next thing I got, let's see, what do I want to show you next? I did get this little picture. This looks like a little Precious Moments picture, and I picked this up for a dollar. And I just, it's not for journals. I just thought it was really cute. But I might take a picture of it and like use the image as some ephemera in a journal at some point. I don't know. But for now, it's just really cute and I like it. Uh, let's see. So I also have a bunch of little bits of ephemera from various thrift stores. Here's a few little keys. I don't think these were actual keys. They're just, they were two for a dollar and... I thought they were pretty, so I picked those up. I also ended up getting one of these little spoons. <laughs> I put one of the spoons on the side of a baby journal, and ever since then I've been kind of thinking that it would be cool to do that on a lot of different journals. So this one is actually from Niagara Falls. I also picked up some Spanish flashcards, and I, I really like flashcards as ephemera pieces, but I just thought that that was cool that they were in Spanish, so it'll be a little bit different. And these were, I think, a dollar. So pick those up. I also picked up a bunch of various cards. This one is actually Christmas related, um, and it's a postcard, so I'm going to use that in one of my Christmas journals. And then I picked up several of these kind of Victorian looking cards here. This is all of the seasons together. This is not a postcard, I don't think. This is just some piece of ephemera that I thought was really pretty. So I may make these into digital ephemera pieces uh, that, that I'll put on my Etsy shop at some point. This is a postcard from 19 something, 1903. So I thought those little girls were really cute. And then this lovely lady here, and that's also a postcard from 1912. And then I also picked up a few Victorian cards here. And uh, this one's kind of cool because it has like a little uh, slider thing going on here. And Picked up this one as well. It has some really pretty birds on it. This I actually got off of eBay, and um, I, I just got this. This was from 1935, and it is just a really cool looking first flight airmail thing that I thought was cool. Uh, so there's that. I also have another one coming, which is actual, like, you know, like the, the airmail looking 
envelopes with the red and blue edges. I have one of those coming in the mail off of eBay and uh, I've kind of gotten stuck on like the first flight airmail letters. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. I keep trying to win them. I did win that one. We'll I'll see. I don't know. I have to take the time to actually get on eBay and do it. So these are like student records from UGA, which uh, UGA is kind of big in Georgia, obviously. They're from 1936, back when teachers actually calculated and wrote out your, your grades <laughs> and didn't do it all on the computer, so I thought that was kind of cool. So here are some other little bits. The, this, oh, this is cool. This is uh, from 1946, and it is a, uh, a milk order. And then this is from a children's hospital, and it's just like a little receipt from 1946. I thought those were really neat, and those will also be on a digital pack one day, I promise, I swear. Okay, so this I found, it's like a little mixed media pack. And it has, I want to try to open it, but I can't figure out where to open it. Hey, look, I've got these scissors right here. I can open it. So this is like a little mixed media pack that somebody put together. And there's like a little boarding pass in there. And there's some ribbon and a picture of a boat. This is an old picture of a little boat. 1959 tugboat. And there are some really pretty uh, stamps in here. So I, I just thought that this was cute. And on this side, there is the little case for the boarding pass back here. So just a little pack to use. I was thinking at the time that I would probably make some sort of little travel journal. I, I, I'm collecting things currently for that. So... Um, okay, so the next things are several pictures. So I, I love antique photos and I love looking at how people dressed and what people looked like. I just think they're fascinating. So, uh, so I <laughs> can't help but pick them up and I really would like to figure out what I can do with them. I've seen some people use them as like art journal pieces so that is my goal. My goal is to start using some of these antique photos and um, I have something else that I'll, I'll, I'll show you that I'm sure you know about already that I'm going to attempt to try and I'll show, I'll show you that in here in a moment. But um, here is one antique photo of a lady with her child and on the back it just looks really cool. I'm not sure when it's from, it doesn't say. But I just thought that was really pretty. And then here is one of a train. So here's another travel theme uh, item that can go in that journal in the future. In the far future, because I am nowhere near <laughs> ready to do that yet. But this one was super cool. It was a dollar. Here is a lady. She looks like she's from the 20s. And I just thought that she looked super cool. So I picked her up as well. So these pictures are all super, super creepy, <laughs> but super cool. There's this lady here. So I, I have no idea where she's from, but she reminds me of like a New Yorker back in like the early 1800s, maybe. So I picked her up. I just thought that was a really cool picture. Here is a little school photo of a girl. Here's one. I would... If I would venture to guess that this is probably in the 40s. Here is one with two children in it, a little boy and a little girl. And this is actually a postcard as well. So this one is super cool. Here's another one. I would, I would assume that this is probably also a school photo. All right, here's one that is kind of creepy to me, but because um, you can barely see his picture in there. But I just, I find that super cool. Here is one with a baby in her baby carriage. And I, I loved this picture. I couldn't leave it behind. It has that really cool deco effect on the edges. 
And then here is another one that I found. And he definitely looks like the guy from Cold Mountain. <laughs> that movie, Cold Mountain. He is probably from the Civil War era. So those are the pictures that I picked up. Really cool pictures, by the way. I have a ton of pictures and I need to do something else with them soon. But, you know, for now. <laughs> They're just going to sit in a box until I decide what I'm going to do with them. So the next few things that I got uh, were a little bag of Viewmasters. This was probably like $1.50, I think. I, I always pick up Viewmasters anytime I find them, the reels, because I uh, I really like the way they look in a journal. So I it's hard to find, and they're also like extremely expensive if you try to get them on Etsy or eBay even. They can be a bit pricey, so... I try to pick them up, especially when I find a good deal on them. Okay, and the next thing I got, I always get these little flashcards. I got one that had math on it. I, I like this one because I'm a math geek. I also got a stamp. I just randomly found this stamp at a thrift store. And this particular thrift store has a lot of like arts and crafts stuff. So I always rummage through their bins and I always find some pretty cool stuff. Um, but I just really liked this. This has nothing to do with Christmas either. <laughs> I don't know if much of the stuff I got yesterday had anything to do with Christmas. Maybe a couple things. But um, but I liked this stamp. It was pretty and it's full of flowers. Okay, so um, what I also got from that particular thrift store is a ton of fabric. And I got this entire pile of fabric for a dollar. One dollar. All of this. All of this for a dollar. So, so yeah, you can find some really cool deals at thrift stores. It's insane. <laughs> so I picked up as many blacks as I could find. I also picked up this nice gray. Here is some brown suede that I picked up. Really pretty. Green suede. And I picked that one up, obviously, for Christmas purposes. And then I picked this one up. This is, like, just pretty flower pattern, but it looked Christmassy to me. And then, let's see, this one is brown and blue, and it's like a uh, sheer, it's like a sheer, uh, I don't know what you call this, whatever you call that, sheer or something. And then I picked up another green one. This one I think used to be a pillowcase, but that's okay, I can use it. So, um, just has like some weird pattern on it and then I, I picked up this one this one's probably my absolute favorite fabric it has a bird on it there and then it has like all of these pretty designs on it so I I loved this one and this one is most certainly going on a Christmas book because it looks very Christmassy to me and then there is another piece of fabric here and then I also found this piece of leather, uh, and I found various scraps of different types of fabric. This one is just plain yellow. I found some Mickey Mouse. I found this little scrap of softball little girl uh, fabric. Here's some little dinosaurs. <laughs> These all came in one little roll. This is uh, just looks like some little maybe dictionary type thing on there. That's another piece of that. And then got Porky the pig. And then here are uh, is a little scrap of some really cute fabric here. So I got all of that for a dollar. And then for three dollars, I was able to get a pile of books. And this is what I found. I found this quite old book. This is from 1905 it looks like. And I I really got it because I loved the cover of it. So I'm going to certainly repurpose the cover for another journal. This book I just got because of the size of the cover. This is about the size I like all of my journals to be. My personal journals for sure. Some people like smaller journals. I'm just not into the little teeny tiny little baby journals. I, I don't know what to do with that. Then I got this little baby book, which is like uh, about the size of a traveler's notebook. 
So that one is really cool. And then this I got for the pictures in it, obviously. I, I just like reusing these types of books. They, they have the cutest pictures in them, so. And then the last book that I picked up is Giant. So I really just picked this up because this has uh, a bunch of pages that are good for any book. I mean, you can put this in anything. And they're all really nice color. And it would be easy for me to cut all these pages out because there's this little gap back here. And that tells me that these pages are not glued in, that they are, I can just cut down here and cut down here and, and cut them straight out of the book without any issues. So, so I picked that one up. I also picked up a few more books, not from this particular thrift store, but um, from a different one. But these books are awesome too. Uh, I got this one. This is the School History of the United States, and it is from 1897, and it's already damaged pretty badly, so I'm not so afraid to use this book and uh, repurpose this cover. I also picked this book up. This is a grade one reader from... Oh, from 1904 and it has some really beautiful pictures in it some of them are in color uh, as you get towards the back they're not in color but in the front they're in color and they have some really pretty pictures I just love these books they're they're beautiful and I'll probably reuse that book cover as well and then the last thing I got I, I was super excited about this because I <laughs> can't find these anywhere at a reasonable price. They want so much money for this stuff. I found this. And this is a ledger book. I am definitely going to reuse the cover of this book. It is quite large. It is a very tall book. It's not It's not really large uh, width-wise, but it is a very tall book. But I, I think that that will be just fine. So this book is pretty much it's all empty there were a few pages ripped out but it's pretty much full uh, and they don't make this style of ledger paper anymore so i was so so excited to find this and i think i paid eight dollars for it but i didn't even care that wasn't even that bad i've seen i've seen like way worse so the last thing that i want to show you before i kind of give you an idea of what i'm going to do with the christmas journals is I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got uh, a big paper pack of Christmas paper. I am making three different Christmas journals. I'm going to sell two of them and then one of them is going to be for me. So I I picked up the paper pack in the hopes that I'll have some left over. We don't know. But I did also go to the clearance section of Hobby Lobby and I found several packs of uh, eyelets which I obviously, for 37 cents, I'm picking them up. Um, and I also found these little banners. They're little craft paper banners. And I thought that was cool. Maybe I can do something with those. I don't know exactly how they work yet, but I'll probably just decorate a page in my junk journal with them. Uh, or, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll find something else I can do with them too. I also picked up this really cool stencil from Artsy, and it's like a fence pattern, so I'm excited about that stencil there. Uh, and then I found these. I have never seen adhesive frames. I don't know why. I just, I guess I don't normally look through the stickers, and so I didn't expect to find something like this there. But I'm always looking for frames because I want to do like mixed media covers. And when I do mixed media covers, I, I normally like to start with something basic, like a frame, and then work my way around it to make it look cool. Uh, so I'm I'm really, really excited about using these. I'm, I'm definitely going to do a mixed media cover with you guys on video in the future. I need to uh, obviously get these Christmas journals done because I want to get them up on Etsy soon. So... I'm, I'm probably going to work on that first, and then we'll do a mixed media cover after that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and then the last thing I got, which relates to the antique photos, 
idea were these paper dolls. And I know you've seen the paper dolls before. I I've never I've never bought them before because I I felt like I couldn't really do anything with them. But um, as of late, I have collected a very large amount of antique photos, and I thought that it would be cool to start using these in my art. So I'm I'm looking for ideas. Anybody have any ideas on what I can do with antique photos or these paper dolls? I'd love to see your work. Either leave that in the comment section below, or you can go to my Instagram and um, show share some pictures with me. My Facebook, you can share some pictures directly with me. Um, and that is all linked in the description box below. So that's it. I, uh, I do want to show you real quick what I'm doing right now. Because I, I know when you don't hear from me for a while, you're probably wondering where she went. So I am probably going to make both of the Christmas journals that I plan on selling on Etsy out of little golden books. Um, and I'm just going to put 25 pages in each one. And basically what you do with the December daily is you write in it every day in December. <laughs> so uh, typically people write down their traditions, what they did that day. You know, if you made gingerbread cookies and you put pictures in there and it's just a nice way to look back on it later. Last year I actually made a December daily journal, but I didn't write in it every day. It was basically like a catch all for all of the Christmas cards and all of the stuff that you collect throughout Christmas, receipts or whatever. So I ended up, um, you know, just making it for that. And I threw some pictures in there, but this year I really wanted to do a December daily journal because I thought it would be a nice thing to look back on in the future. Although that one is cool to look back on too. I think that it would be nice, um, to write in it every day and, and it would kind of get me in a, in a good routine too. Uh, for my personal junk journal, I I just kind of collect things in a bag and and then I go back to it later and put it all in my journal. And sometimes I forget some of the cute little things that happen or the fun details or whatever. So I'm going to only put um, 25 pages in my personal Christmas journal as well. And then after my December daily journal is filled up through Christmas, then I'll go back to my regular junk journal. So that is what I'm working on. I know it's kind of chaotic right now because I've just kind of thrown things together. In the future, I will show you <laughs> a flip through of my personal December daily as well as do I'll do a flip through of the two journals that I'm going to put up on Etsy. That is what I'm working on right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you saw some cool stuff. And um, if, like I said, if you have any ideas about the antique photos or the paper dolls. I would love to hear about them. And that's it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.